While we are part of a larger profitable health system, we are one of the smaller hospitals impacted by the massive consolidation of the hospital industry in Massachusetts over the last several years. As a small community hospital of Bay State Health, our nurses and community has struggled to maintain services by publicly advocating for the needed services to be, to be provided locally. Even as Bay State Health has posted significant profit margins, provided an enormous compensation package for now retired CEO Mark Talowski, and maintained unknown quantities of money in accounts in the Caribbean. According to a report released recently by the Attorney General, Mr. Talowski earned more than $5.3 million between 2009 and 2011, which includes his base salary, bonuses, and contributions to his lucrative defined benefit pension plan. If that was not enough during that same time period, Bay State Health provided Mr. Talowski with a $27,000 car allowance and also paid more than $3,000 for his wife's travel expenses. Bay State also reimbursed Mr. Talowski more than $37,000 for expenses related to his personal, financial, tax, and estate planning. As a nurse who struggles every day to provide the best care possible to vulnerable patients in my community, I am appalled that our tax dollars were used to compensate the extravagant lifestyle of a corporate CEO. That is why I'm here to testify in the support of the Hospital Profits Transparency and Fairness Act, Senate 623 and House 979. These bills will provide for us a more complete picture of how our health care tax dollars are being used and will provide a disincentive for hospitals that pay their CEOs exorbitant compensation packages at the expense of their core mission, which is taking care of the communities they serve. 